just going to start coming back in on him and just see what he does when I approach him. Now, see his awareness just start to, his eyes blinked a little. He had a little bit of awareness there to say, oh, he's coming. Now, you'll see the tension just start to raise a little there. And he goes, ah, right, there's a person coming in. Now, he hasn't completely blocked me out yet. And I'm just waiting just at that, that, that bubble there where, where I started to press him a little. And I'm just going to gently push through it here. And right about here, he's starting to think. So I let him do that. Now, that was a really positive thing for him. And I'm going to walk away, give him a re reward for that. And you watch after this, he kind of goes, whoa, oh, gee, that was big. Okay. Um, and, and as I say, this is the first time he's done this. And, and I wish I had the footage earlier of just working on his bubble. So earlier on, we were just working on that bubble, not even trying to get him to bend, just, just trying to walk in. And then when, he, when we see signs of tension, just step out and give him some space. Right there, I push through his bubble a little just to sort of see. But he held his awareness. So, so then here he connects and then I'm going to walk away. And I'm really happy with that. Like I was stoked this day like when he did that because it was like, you know, wow, he's actually coming around through the right, um, through the right eye there and, 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 and connecting. And, and I think what amazed the people who were sitting there watching was how he kind of went with his head down like this after it. Now, you know, some people get excited about it, um, but, you you know, you've got to be understand that this is, this is I think, not a submissiveness in him. It's just a, it's just a, oh, a, a, a release of tension and, he, and he's sort of coming down a little bit and relaxing. Um, but it's still a big thing for him and that's why, you know, over time soon he'll just comfortably bend to the right. We, well, we hope he'll comfortably just bend to the right and go, I'm not scared on that side anymore. I can, I can communicate and people are okay. Good. And he has a sniff on me and then I let, 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 just, just let him go back there like that. So basically right here I'm just working on can I approach him and, and can he just, you know, soften and think towards me without kind of blocking me out and just going, okay, here comes a person. I've got to go into the, the you know, the the freeze mode or. You know, see there, he kind of, you know, went, oh, oh, but there he comes around. Good. Good. And, and as I said earlier, for some people, this might be like, oh, this is just like watching paint dry. But um, to me, it's like, well, if you've had a horse that's been ridden for so many years and frightened and not understanding and, and just a simple thing of thinking to the right uh, and, and connecting and understanding someone on the right, well, then then this is an important thing for him. And I think it's a very important thing in his education because if it's not addressed, then he'll always go spooking to the right and, and, and not really enjoying being ridden because there's always those nervous points that have never been fixed. And I come across horses that are 20 years old that they had a habit when they were young and, and and it was a, it was a, it was a habit based on on fear that that, that and, and and it was never addressed so now i've got the owner in and i'm going to help her out with just walking in and see if she can get a connection so he's more familiar with her so we might see some little differences now i'm happy with the way he's just hanging there and he's blinking and he's kind of still open he's not got that hard kind of yeah people around me expression so he acknowledges, you can see there's a little bit of a change in there and he kind of knows there, but just here he kind of half thinks away a little and gets a little tense, but um, it's not as bad as it was. But there's very, you know, c compared to when I was walking in and when she starts to walk in, there's not as much of a change. Now, previously when, when, when you'd be around him, he'd kind of stand there more shut down looking and there would be no change in his expression. So there he acknowledges her a little bit there and he kind of just kind of, yeah, right, oh, she's there and, and, and then she, she steps away and rewards him for that. But there's still not as a, a dramatic change. Um, so it was a little connection, but, but, you know, not a lot. But this is where I think it's quite interesting is you watch when he makes a, a big connection to her. Um, and here it comes here when he really makes that big connection He's going, he sniffs on her and he holds there with her, which is quite nice. He holds and goes, oh, yeah, right oh. But then when she walks away here, watch this. Whoa, that was a big thing, okay? So, you know, that's why I think, you know, you know, sometimes we think we've got a nice obedient horse that stands nice and is quiet, but sometimes they're just standing there frozen. 
and you know they're putting up with stuff we don't see these big changes but just then when he really sniffed out and went I connected on my right eye on my right side to her um then he had this big whoa you know so that's why it's important getting a real connection on that side and getting him to really understand that it's okay having people there because once he gets over this hill quite a few times he'll go oh I can just bend and think to the right and I'll have no troubles and, and we'll get him really even and, and it'll make him nice to ride and, 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 and just make it more nice for him to be around people and not be kind of sort of trapped in this obedient kind of frame of mind where he's trying to do the right thing but, it, you know, at any moment, um, you know, that anxiety could just all come out. And, uh, yeah, so that's why I thought it was really fascinating the way she, you know, walked in and there was two times there there was not a big change and not a big connection. Uh, though he was not as shut down as he normally would be, he was kind of, well, he wasn't. He was kind of knowing she was there. But here you see when we just walk past him here, he kind of puts his head up and he goes, oh, there they go around me there. Okay. And, you know, you, you, you look here and, and, and a horse like that that's been ridden for quite some time and, you know, he should be okay with people walking around him. But because, um, you know, his training had a fair bit of, you know, hard training that he was frightened about, then, you know, it's really difficult for him. So, you know, we've, it's really our responsibility to help horses through all these little hurdles and, and really help them out so they can sort of feel better around us and, and just be okay with things. But that okayness will, will turn into you know, a more balanced horse to ride and generally more pleasurable, you know, horse to be around and, and they'll, they'll try a lot harder for us because they won't have all that anxiety that they're carrying all the time.